Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good evening everyone So today I will share with you the knowledge that I got while attending a guest lecture in a few days ago In this video, I will also give some of my opinion when I'm related to cocoa export activities But before we get started, let me introduce myself first My name is Rizky Duangraini, but you can call me Kiki I am an agribusiness student Faculty of Agriculture, University of Technology Madura, with student ID number is 91. So before any further ado, let's get started. So yeah, in here, I will present the lesson that I got from the two guest lectures that I attend which could motivate me, the Carriot Export Activities. They are Mr. Sapri and Mr. Fertaus. The first lecture is Mr. Sapri with his name tips to be successful in being a millennial farmer in the pandemic era. The lesson that I got in this section is we, as a young generation, we have to, first, there is no shame in being a farmer. Because farmers are a noble job and bear the needs of many people. Everyone in the world definitely needs farmers to provide for their food. So farmers are not an ordinary profession. In fact, this is a profession that will never disappear as long as there are humans who are still alive. Without agriculture, humans will have difficulties in their lives. If we don't want to farm, then who will continue the world of agriculture? Because now, most farmers are old and lack technology. So here we, as a young generation, we really have a big role when we are younger have more knowledge, and also have more control over technology. The second lesson is, Indonesia's researches are very large. There are a lot of researches in our country, where we are a very fertile agriculture country. This must be used as best as possible. Don't let any agricultural land be empty and abandoned because this is certainly very detrimental. And beside of that, Agricultural products will provide more benefit if produce a lot of product even to export. Because almost everyone needs food, agricultural products are very suitable to be export products. And the last lesson for this section is farming will create a job. It will be better if we could create jobs for many people. When our agricultural activities are successful, and are able to develop well, we can become jobs for other people. Because the best human are those who are beneficial to others. This world was motivates me a lot to carry out export activities, especially in agricultural commodities. Agricultural products are needed by many people regardless of cross country, where agricultural products can be exported anywhere because everyone needs it. This is a positive point of business in agriculture. So, next for the second lecture is Mr. Muhammad Wahyu Firdaus with his theme, Entrepreneurial Social Media Management. The lesson that I got were, the first, is never be afraid to start an online business. Because at this time, online business is one of the things that is being incessantly on social media. There are many advantages to be gained especially during pandemic like this. And the second lesson is tips and tricks in selling online. And this time, Mr. Fertaus also explains about how to make an online business run well and in demand, of course. The first step, or the first tips is choose the most controlled social media. This aim to make it easier for us to start a business because of course, we can better control our account first with our abilities. If we use our social media that we have never had before, it will save us in the promotion process. So, and the next tip is using a keywords. Keywords are words that are often searched by customers on the internet. With this, our products are more easily displayed in the search column so that more people visit. So, if I become an entrepreneur in the export sector, maybe the commodity that I will break on is a cocoa. So what is cocoa? Cocoa is a cultivated tree in plantation that originated in South America, but is now grown in various tropical regions. 
From the seed of this plant, a processed product known as a chocolate is produced. Cocoa is an annual plant in the form of a tree. In nature, it can reach a height of 10 meters. However, in cultivations, this plant is made no more than 5 meters in height, but with a wide side canopy. This step is carried out to extend productive branches. Cocoa is one of the mainstream agricultural subsector products contribute greatly to the country's foreign exchange. Cocoa agribusiness is one of the agricultural business that has received serious attention from the government because these commodities have economic value as well as national superior commodities, as well as commodities for the region of South Sulawesi province. South Sulawesi is the largest cocoa producing area in Eastern Indonesia. Based on data released by the International Cocoa Organization, Indonesia has currently listed as the third largest cocoa producer in the world, but its quality is still low when compared to the other four largest cocoa exporters, such as Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, and Cameroon. Despite having poor quality, Indonesia contributes 15% of cocoa to the world's cocoa needs. The thing that causes the low productivity in quality of Indonesian cocoa are the development of downstream products that are still not optimal, and the equality of plantation is still low. One of which comes from cocoa plant pests and the depletion of soil nutrients, the attack of the cocoa fruit border, and vascular streak defect. Disease cause the taste of Indonesian cocoa beans to be weak. High levels of impurities and a lot of bacteria con contamination. The obstacle that caused the poor quality of cocoa are still not completely overcome, but at the production level, both harvest and downstream industries. Okay, so now we will discuss the competitiveness of Indonesian cocoa products with other countries. Competitiveness is one of the efforts to increase income and economic growth for the better in the country, measured by the ability of companies, industries, regions, or between countries to produce relatively high income and employment factors and sustainably to face international competition. Okay, based on research on analysis of Indonesian cocoa export competitiveness during 2012, until 2016, which was compared with Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, and Cameroon, it can be concluded as follows. First, Indonesian cocoa has a fairly strong competitiveness. It's proven with calculation using the RCA methods to get the results RCA greater than 1. That means that Indonesian cocoa has a large market share in the world market. Second, the results of calculation using the RSEA method for 5 years to last are through 2012 to 2016, Indonesia had RSEA value greater than 0. It means that Indonesian cocoa is able to compete in the world market because it has a comparative advantage and specialized in cocoa products means that Indonesia can be produced cocoa at lower cost compared to other countries other. Based on the result and discussion above, it can be concluded that Indonesia has the potential and development of cocoa agribusiness which large enough. So finally, thank you for watching this video and I hope you can get some new insight from what I said and see you in the next video. Bye bye.